Hello and welcome along to Adobe Muse Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this part two of creating a menu driven scrolling technique we're going to add some anchor points and connect our menu to those anchor points so we can slide these um, images into position. Okay let's get stuck in. Now the first thing we want to do is pin our menu. And What do I mean by that and why do we do that? So let's have a look. If I was to preview what we've done so far as I scroll up you'll notice that the menu just disappears once it gets past a certain point like that it'll disappear which is not what we want okay we want it to be stuck here at the top of the page to do that I'm going to go to design view grab my menu click on it once hold the shift key down so it's straight and just put it right at the top of the page like that and then you'll see this little thing here called pin I'm going to pin it in the middle at the top just by clicking on that tiny little square like that. So now when we preview it like this, as things slide the menu stays there and the images simply slide into position like that. Okay but we haven't connected our menu yet so let's do that. To do that we need something called anchor points. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Apple minus, like this and what I want to do is grab this anchor point here, this little thing that looks like an anchor. Well done Adobe. And if I click out here like this, I'll put it here anywhere to start with. It needs a name, so I'm going to type in slide 1, we'll call that. Don't put any spaces in here because it gets a bit cranky about that. Click OK. And now I'm going to associate it with this menu item over here. So if I click on my menu once, click on it twice, it selects the first menu item like this. So now what I'm going to do is click on that and up here in the hyperlinks if I drop this down you'll see I have a slide one anchor like that. So I click on that, select that. Let's preview that in a page and see what it looks like. If I click on slide you'll see how it slides into position like that to wherever that anchor point was but obviously that's in the wrong spot so I'll go back to design like this and what I need to do, this is a bit of hit and miss stuff like this, I might just move this down a little bit and see if we're going in the right direction and we'll preview that again here we go, yes we are going in the right direction so I go back to design and I'll just move that down just a little bit like that and preview it again and it will slide to that position that's probably exactly where we want it to be like that or just maybe, maybe a fraction more so I'll just grab and drag it down a little bit like that just a fraction and preview as you can see it's a bit hit and miss this part so it slides into action uh, just under the menu like that we can see all the picture now this is going to depend of course on the size of your monitor that you're using I'm using quite a large um, computer 27 inch Mac to do this so it can look a little bit different depending on which um, again which size monitor you're using Okay, so I'm back in design view. I'm going to Apple minus out a little bit like this. Let's do slide two the same way. If I click on my anchor like that, and if I put my anchor about there, and I'm going to call it slide two like this, and OK. I'm going to connect it to this menu item, the second one, by clicking once, then clicking twice, and up here you'll see I have a slide two option. Okay, so let's preview that see what happens when we click on slide 2. Uh, as you can see it's a little bit too far down so we just might grab that and drag that down just a little bit like that and again every time you do this these will be different so it's a, a matter of trial and error so let's preview that. Slide 2 Ooh, is getting close it needs to come down a little bit more maybe to about there like that and let's preview that. Uh, just about perfect. Just about perfect. Exactly what we want. Okay, great. So now let's add the rest of our anchor points that we need. So I'll just zoom out a little bit so I can see more. I'll grab this. And actually, it's quite important. I'll just look at the relationship here of how close that is to this picture. So I'll just zoom up a little bit like that. So slide 3 should be about approximately here. I'll type in slide 3 like that and OK. And I'll go down a little bit, make another one like that, click, 
approximately there and then it'll be slide four like that and as you can see you're getting the picture you keep doing this grab another anchor and that'll be slide five like that and we'll try one more for slide six by clicking our anchor going to approximately there and slide six is what we want and OK. Now let's connect our menu to those numbers. So I might zoom out a bit, Apple Plus, like that. This time I'm going to click on slide three and up here I'm going to connect that to slide three. This one here to slide four and this one here to slide five and this one here to slide six, like that. So it's all looking very good. Let's preview that and see how it works. If I click on slide three, uh, just about perfect. Slide four, yep, slide five. That could come up just a little bit. And slide six is pretty good, but slide five is a little bit dodgy. So let's see if we can fix that. Go back to design view, down to slide five. There it is there. And we might just move that up just a fraction to see if that fixes it. Let's preview that. Go to slide five. And that's just about right, just about perfect. So as you can see, what we've done, we've created a menu-driven scrolling situation where we just click on a menu button like this and the image will scroll, uh, the page will scroll to show that image that's connected to that menu item. Very clever and well done, Muse. Now scrolling um, is the subject of uh, a lot of videos to come, how we can actually scroll things at different speeds and that's called the parallax scroll effect and that's something to look forward to. But right now we have a very basic slideshow driven by a menu and of course we can do this in a horizontal way if we like the same thing using anchors. Okay, thanks for watching.